Hello there, welcome to Genius Models. My name is Boy Warden. Welcome to our inbox review here. We have uh, something a little bit different this time. We're going to be doing a ship, the Oliver Hazard Perry class frigate. It is in 1 700 scale and it is by a FV Club. It's also a pretty brand new tool. As of 2022, this was a new tool. So rather cool. Um, now there was a massive downside to this, which we will go over. Um, but let's have a look at the kit itself first. Right. So yes, we do have actually quite a nice bit of um, um, of showing the actual kit built by the looks of it just here. I mean, it would have been nice if that kind of weathered it up a bit. Um, but yeah, it does look cool. Nice little um, SH-60 Seahawks on the back there, which is, again, rather, rather cool. Um, let's move along with our first bit of plastic just here. So let's um, open these up. We have sort of like the main um, sort of structure, shall we say, uh, and we have all this tiny, tiny detail going on, which there's a fair bit. Um, it's not too shabby, shall we say. Um, looking around, I'm not seeing any sort of nasty flash or anything like that. We do have eject pin marks, um, and this is sort of like some detail um, of the roof, which is probably going to be a bit hard to see anyway, uh, but none on the walls, which would have probably been nicer to be fair. Um, but yeah, looking not too bad. We do have um, in this one right, all our kind of main surface deck. I mean, you know, I don't normally do ship, so trying to get all the wordings to this is probably going to take me a bit of time. But yeah, we've got a bit of detail going on with this as well. I mean, I'm not massively impressed on the detail, shall we say, you know, but there is some there. Um, the sides of this as well, and this looks like it's one of those that are um, not the full hull. I think um, it's like half a hull going on there, so um, probably good for a bit of diorama, but we can just see, you know, a little bit of detail with that as well, right? Um, and then this is, I think, the base looking at it as well, right? Um, so, yeah, so, so, we've got massive eject pin marks sticking out there, but no big deal, can just crack them off. Uh, sorry about my fingernails, I have been working on my car over there. The weekend so let's have a look at the little bits which is probably what makes up ships really is all these tiny little pieces that get attached to it and build it up and lots and lots of fiddly stuff which yes we can see all sorts of things going on here um, cranes or pylons or radar or something actually looking quite crisp not really hardly any flash which is definitely what you want with something this small um, propeller just at the back there again looking rather crisp as well a um, bit more detail going on um, again I don't know what half of these parts are oh yeah we've got some lifeboats going on there which actually um, some boats going on looking quite good actually bit of radar by the looks of it nice bit of kind of rib work going on with that so maybe see how close we can get see it looks really really actually quite nice and crisp uh, flip this over let's have a look uh, I think this might be a little lifeboat and there is a little eject pin mark just in the middle there uh, but yeah looking actually quite cool I right, might have to take it back a bit the detail on the the main hull side of things because if it does have all these little bits on there probably going to is going to look rather rather snazzy um, again we've got loads of little pieces that are going on here all sorts of who knows what i mean we've got some weapon systems here what is it the ciws or uh forget what it's called the instructions will tell, tell me in a bit um but yeah moving along again lots and lots of detail i am liking how it's quite very fine there's no major flash because you know those little pieces are going to be a nightmare if you have to kind of like get rid of all those join lines and flash and, and all that nasty stuff now this one's a cool one uh, this sprue houses our seahawks just on here which um do seem to have 
a fair few of them as well as a nice couple of different configurations as well so you know we can see actually a fairly decent amount of detail on there all sorts of windows we can see on there nice little seahawk um, as well as all sorts of different positions for our propellers and as i say you've got all the different configurations you can even have all the different weapons as well which is really actually rather rather cool so that is quite funky um, and then we have again we've got some more little bits and bobs just in there i won't get them all out so there is all our pieces we then have if i just open this up we do have a little bit of photo etch with this right feels quite nice and fine right and that is probably some sort of masks or um, radar bits or something along those lines but he's gonna make it look rather cool but it is a little bit dinky maybe a little bit of a gimmick because there's not exactly a lot of photo which on there um, the decals themselves um, it does look like we have the flags as some decals as well uh, markings for I do believe up to about six or seven ships as well we do have um, the outline for the helipad area right which is one big decal just there um, as well as these kind of red and white um, markings just here for the guns and all that kind of stuff um, looks actually quite good We've got some little decals as well for our helicopters also which you know they look nice and dinky as well so don't look too shabby um, instructions all right hopefully this is should go together fairly easy all right we do have um, i do believe it starts off with a load of nice markings um, color call outs we've got guns going on humbrol life color ravel um, shows our seahawks first fairly straightforward on there as well as the construction uh, then we have the color call outs for um, a fair amount of different ships by the looks of it right if we move ourselves along yes like anti-submarine early versions middle versions okay lots of different versions going on there different color call outs rather cool lots of options of different ships to do we do start off with the main hull going on here um, starting off with some radar going on um, with all those nice fine pieces um, moving along I mean it does seem like it's a lot of little pieces bring them together um, kind of lots of box shapes maybe going on tiny little bits of radar um, moving along probably coming along yes we've got weapons next which is the CIWS um, torpedoes the mark 75 uh, 76 millimeter 62 naval gun um, and all, all your little bits and bobs that go on there um, you know typical kind of um, ship kind of construction going on with that now it does look like a cool cool kit it's a nice new tool hardly any flash no sort of nasty eject pin marks in nasty nasty places it's going to be what looks like to be sort of like a nice little quick easy build to do however i can't recommend it right because the one problem with this kit the one huge problem is this kit comes in at just slightly under 50 pounds right i mean if we take a look at this i mean that's how big it is that is the size of this thing that is the length right and that is the main size of it it's it's a dinky little one seven hundred scale um friggy and it's just so so overpriced i mean this the plastic that's in this and everything kind of reminds me a bit of a 172nd scale world war ii fighter um and to ask for just under 50 pounds for uh, a kit like this just seems just way 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 over um, price to me and it kind of really kind of puts me off i can't help just look at the size of it um and i mean the detail's good but it's not brilliant there's not loads of photo etch or anything like that um it's just in my opinion i just feel like this is a very not worth it kit it would be nice if it was around about a 20 30 pound mark and it would be a nice 
cheap, easy, cheerful, quick build to do, probably be a load of fun, but if you're gonna fork out that much money, it's just not worth it in my opinion. So sadly, this is not a big thumbs up here at Genesis Models, um, which is why this kit, I'm gonna be giving it away. Um, as the, um, was it the June competition prize for 2023, um, because if you give it away, well, it just makes it a nice, cheap and cheerful kit, doesn't it? Um, which is what I feel like this should be intended for. Um, but sadly, it is not, it's too overpriced. Um, so hopefully um, you don't mind me not recommending that. Hopefully you kind of agree. If not, just let me know. But um, as always, until next time, my name is Bob Wardrow and this is Models, and I hope you've enjoyed.